Hey guys, it's Harv, good to see you. So, something really good happened the other day. I was actually able to go out for the first time in months and actually film a project. I made my way down to Axe and Trap Studios in Wells and recorded a three-piece band with a three-camera setup. It was just such a good feeling to be able to go and do it. Things in the UK aren't perfect COVID-wise still, so needless to say, it was a socially distanced, masked up session and one that definitely had its challenges. A live recording of a three-piece band with three cameras, three different lenses, what could possibly go wrong? Before I go into that though, a couple of days ago I released my video review, tutorial and demonstration of Motion VFX M Callouts Tech and it's a belter of a plugin and I'd really highly recommend you check out that plugin, I will link it below. And here's a little sneaky peek for you. But what is M Callouts Tech? Well, M Callouts Tech is a pack of 50 4K ready animated and tracked titles for Final Cut Pro. You can track things so easily, like this mug, for example, and you can assign insanely slick looking text in a kind of sci fi theme to them. It's ridiculously easy to set up and track. I think I'm gonna put the mug down and show you how to track. Link below, it's a fun one, check it out. And of course, if you're a subscriber, it would mean the world to me if you could hit that notification bell next to your button. That way you can keep up to date and you won't miss a video. So the first challenge I came up against was that I had only a few hours really to do a three track live recording of a three piece band and squeeze in a video tour, studio tour for the studio. Come in. Hi, welcome to Axon Trap Studios. I'm Ben, uh, I'm co-owner and engineer. That's a lot to do for any videographer. When you consider all of the gear, all of the equipment, you have to do multiple takes, there's just a lot to think about. And then there's the challenge of having three cameras, two of which were Sony and one Canon. And then obviously you have to do everything in your power to kind of match the footage as much as you can whilst you're there. And that means making some really critical decisions on the spot. So you have to think about things like, are you gonna film in log modes or some sort of linear profile? What's gonna be easiest to match once you get it into editing? And then you have to think about the white balance between the different cameras because you definitely don't wanna leave it on auto. So you have to choose which one to go for, and they're not always equal, even between cameras from the same brand. And then I had to pick the optimum setup for which lens to choose, which focal length, which brand of lens to go for, so that I could match the shots together as best as I could. On top of all this, I had to think of the best ways to get all of the footage from the three cameras looking interesting when you're only a one-man band. I like movement in my shots, so I had to think of ways that I could try and introduce movement with just me being there. Needless to say, this project had its fair share of challenges, and I will do a full video detailing how I overcame them, what I did, and that will probably be coming in a couple of weeks, so definitely subscribe and you won't miss it. Last thing to say is I hope you found this video fun and I'll see you next week. You be good. See ya.